Alright. Okay. This last piece of... Oh, nope, that was... Okay. D6744. The energy output is getting out of hand. How much longer? So this is the witch plan, huh? Are we anything more than tools to you? Nope. It's not about that. This is about saving the world. Either you fix this, or we're all screwed. It's what I'm doing. Then move your ass and do it already. I am. Yeah, suck my nuts. Quitting the Foundation was the best damn decision of my life. Intersect fragments may only be linked once. What? Do I have to skip those ones? I can't skip them. Interesting. Okay. to you the ARB Potential <laughs> Development Device 2.0. Okay. This device is capable of not only better stimulating the potential of abnormal objects, but can also automatically turn on the respective electric field control, so long as the abnormal objects exceed the preset amplitude. Okay. This will ensure that the experiment is foolproof, with zero chance of runaway. The tragedy of Director Tau 2 cannot be repeated. We must learn from our mistakes. We must not forget the enormous power of SCP-239. And we must treat security as a top priority. Otherwise, yeah. all of this will be for nothing. Okay. Do not forget the credence we live by. Secure, contain, protect. This, we must uphold at every turn. Potential development plan 2.0 activation simulation of a high pulse voltage direction interference of auditory guidance controllable inhibit the free will ah according to the experimental records from the early stages of the ARB project it has been confirmed that the reality distortion abilities of 239 are proportionate to the pulse voltage when stimulated by certain words okay after deliberation, the O5 Council has decided to reinstate Dr. Sean Pierce as the principal investigator and development leader with B3 authority for the 239 project. So Amy, that's what I called her last time. The ARB plan has been approved and authorized by the Council and relevant work should be carried out according to the set schedule. Authorization is effective immediately. <coughs> Violet's death certificate. Fractured skull, hemorrhagic shock. Uh... Yep, yeah, we, we saw that in the last one.
Registration, a vote to relaunch the ARB potential development plan. Agree, disagree, abstain. Agree. Agree. Agree, okay. I think that's it here. Oh, hi, sweet Pete. No, it's okay. Hi, hello. It's okay. I just want to talk. No. Stay away. What happened? It, it's not your fault. Oh. Oh. Oh, sweet Pete. Okay, Amy. I don't know if your name's Amy, but... Aww, sweetheart. I am Dr. Sean Pierce. December 25th, 2005. 16.30 hours. This is the first experiment of ARP Plan 2.0. SCP-239. We will repeat the previous tests first. Treated like people. Cross the car in front of you. Okay. Now begin the new test. Experiment three. Creation test. Pass rate indeterminate. Aww. Voltage strength. 800 kilovolts. Power on. SCP-239. Reassemble this junk into a truck. A real, operational truck. Not some fancy replica. Poor baby. Baby. Beautiful. 
I don't think there was any way to pass that. Walk with a dainty step. I didn't. I just ran. I ran the whole freaking way. Uh, achievement unlocked. Building. Build anchoring effect. D6744. Nicely done. Uh, hold on. The outflow of energy of SCP-239 has subsided and is now beginning to dissipate. We have regained control. Uh, just hold on. Again, a job well done. Synapse is now ready to be disconnected. Can you just hold the fuck on and listen for a damn change? The dolly. What's the matter? The problem hasn't yet been solved. She's still lost deep in her mental anguish. That's not our concern. The crisis has been averted. Innumerable lives have been saved. Your mission is complete. My mission's not complete until she is stable. Compassion in times of desperation leads only to the destruction of yourself. Uh. Three minutes. You owe me that much. For all this, you owe me. I can enter her subconscious and fix this. Three minutes. Very well. Uh. I'll disconnect the synapse in three minutes. If you're not back, then so be it. I will show no compassion. Ah. Uh. doing, but okay. Amy. Team Honey Badger has entered the value anomaly area. Now quickly approaching. Good. Proceed. The amniotic fluid has broken. Send to delivery room two. Okay, all right. <clears throat> um, Method self paying. Okay, so okay, fine. What's going on? The needles on these fingers are all over the place. I don't know, but my watch has stopped working too. Maternal 
dystocia, profuse bleeding, send to operating room. Uh. Can I move? Oh boy. Okay. Congratulations, a lovely princess with beautiful blue eyes. Aww. Oh boy. figure out her name it SCP was just 239 SCP 239 SCP 239 SCP 239 SCP 239 that's an order SCP 239 that's an order ah SCP 239 do as i say no. SCP 239 do as i say I come on do it yes. come on do it Oh, what? SCP-239! No! SCP-239! SCP-239! No, no, no! Don't blame yourself. None of this is your fault. Maybe you weren't meant for this world. Star stickers and colorful lights everywhere, everywhere. Aww. Everywhere I go, they twinkle, twinkle like little eyes. So many good books with the cutest animals inside. Aww. They only say nice things to me. They always want to chat with me. She just so wants to have beautiful friends. Decorations. Ah! Uh, mountains of toys. Here be dragons. I can play all day, anywhere I want. Uh, I'll have my favorite toy, a beautiful carousel. I'll ride and ride, and it will take me anywhere. There, I will not be uh, yelled at. I will not be punished. I can sing as much as I like. I hope. I hope. I hope so much to live here forever. My home. Seguro's is home. Seguro. She's been unlocked. Dream home. Oh, oh, my head. Take a deep breath. Just some minor side effects from the forced disconnection. She's not coming back. What? In the end, she chose to shut off her subconscious. She'll sleep forever, like a plant. Aww. Maybe that's for the best. Anyways, our primary concern is the incident report. It'll require some brainstorming. Not my concern. I'll arrange for yep. someone to take you back. See you on the next mission. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. Weird. What? Wait, did he take her power? Or part of it? Consciousness intrusion operation. SCP-2309. Uh, which plan? ARB potential development plan. Mandate from O5 Council. Favorite storybook. That's all the stuff that we just went through. Okay. <coughs> Containment procedure.
Uh, one room cell furnished with one bed, one EKG machine, and one IV to be filled with phenobarbital mix with data expunged to be refilled daily under no circumstances. It should be, to be removed from her containment area at any given time. The walls of the cell are to be coated in a delicate lead alloy. Only class two personnel are allowed any contact. All personnel guarding her containment area to, is to be equipped with telekill headgear, such as proper name is Siguro. Siguros, under no condition should the subject ever be awakened. Any personnel found attempting to awaken the subject will be immediately terminated. Which plan <clears throat> was a fail? She's an unacceptable containment and security risk. She's eight years old. Peter Class. Uh, for a baby. All done. Thank you, Director. Yep. You're right, this place is not what I thought it was. Still learning to understand and abide by the rules. handed this task to you. I was frankly rather worried about whether or not you would be able to complete it. Seems you are ready. What do you mean? Carl, someone wants to talk to you. Uh... Who are you? O5 Council? Doesn't matter who I am. What matters is, who are you? Carl is just a name, a symbol. I'm the one who will guide you to the answers. Oh, what should I do? I will need to complete some warm-up exercises. Take the elevator to the 15th floor. Oh. Oh, stairs. Okay. Elevator. It's a weird stepping sound. I don't have a body. <clears throat> okay. Elevator. 15th floor. Check and check. What next? Enter room. <clears throat> this room? Okay. Enter room. Patient person type dose Kate Lawrence, Sophie Mars, Sebastian Shaw. Amnestics. Ooh. Really? Well, the green toast. Healthy eating, live well. Don't take bread in the lounge. Oh, don't bake bread in the lounge. Don't you feel nauseous yet? Sit. Okay. There is an access card on the desk. Take it and exit through the door on the other side. The passcode is 0426. Okay. Find room B426. 0426. Find the permission card. Didn't I already do that? I 
they do it too quickly? What the heck? Oh, swipe here. Zero, four, two, six. Which zone am I going in? B. Four, two, six. This way. <coughs> four, two, six. Four, two, six. <coughs> Experiment involves relevant content. Please confirm the personnel information after entering, please. Make sure the door is locked again in the event of a containment breach. Sheesh. Okay. Okay. Yes. 426, Euclid, confidentiality level, confidentiality level 3. All non-level D staff covered in this manual have had their identities obscured. The events recorded in this manual can be accessed via the digital library. Level 3, authorization required. Use of this manual is covered by the confidentiality clause. Any staff found in breach of the clause will be subject to immediate demotion. Confirm. Confirm. I'm confused. Experiment log 426-1, test subject D81. <coughs> test subject D81, named Jason Grias, is a 28-year-old black male in good health with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. Okay, nicknamed Chimney. His psychological condition was normal before he entered the site. However, he developed a negative and pessimistic tendencies while in prison, along with severe symptoms of nicotine addiction. Physical examination records showed that D81 did not acquire any physical disabilities. All right. Jaded, skeptical, and exhausted. Life and living are tough. When being awake and sleep are no longer regular, only the number of cigarettes left can give me a general sense of time. Only smoking can get me out of bed. I didn't even provide a mirror. I don't need to see my face. One small single bed, but cozier than the one in jail. Smoke on the toilet first. Why do they give us something that we won't even have the chance to use? Okay. At least you're still alive. That's right, man. You're paying attention. You know I can feel your life energy. 
What? Not just yours, but all lives. The transitions that happen. Making the most polite transitions is a beautiful thing, and they exist in abundance here. The frick are you talking about? They always lead to unknown opportunities where everything is uncertain. I can see the man-made chaos. Distorted by another force that can't be called life. Idiot. Anyway, at least you're still alive. Yeah, what a great ending. Eighty-one, time for your task. Let me finish the cigarette. Come on, give me a break. I always follow orders, don't I? Can't even smoke anymore. Hurry up. Damn it. Chimney, one cigarette, and I'll tell you about the task today. Good deal, right? Save it, man. Come on, we should be helping each other out. Are you freaking playing with me? What is the point of knowing? I still have to do it. Come on, man, don't be stingy. You never run out of cigarettes. You're Andy, right? Yes, Mandy. Andy, you sure there's a tunnel behind that poster? You kidding me? It's a steel wall. Come on, just one cigarette. I have important information about the task. I don't believe you. Stay away from me, man. Ah, fair enough. What are you doing? I have no idea, but obviously we need a glass of lemonade. Lemonade? Lemonade. Sweep a sour, quenches your thirst, and clears your mind. Everyone needs a glass of lemonade, whatever the season. Are you cutting your arm with that knife? Forget about that. I'm talking about lemonade. Do you like lemonade? Yeah, lemonade. Sure, but you're gonna need treatment for that arm. Doesn't matter. Lemonade. We need more lemonade. He's out of his mind. <laughs> All right. Where am I going? What am I doing this time? Get ready. I get it. Security check. What can you detect in this thing anyways? No weapons, no metal, no smoking in the observation room. No smoking? Something against me, huh? Joe's hands. on the bottom floor. Your task is to enter the room and observe the object on the table. Come back and report your findings once you've completed the observation. Do you understand? CP Foundation is full of freaking freaks. Where am I going? This way? Jesus. I'll never get used to this. They can't make this something less gross. Hmm. Painting is called Los Angeles at 4 a.m. Interesting. Is this a poster of an opera? These freaks watch opera? Are you kidding me? Yo, doctor, hello? Can you hear me? Nothing wrong, right? Toaster. Um. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like what I need to observe is in here. What the hell is this? <laughs> I'll have a cigarette first. Where are my cigarettes? Ah, oh, I'll never guess where I hid my cigarettes. Uh oh. Dang, that's good. Return to the lab and report it to the doctor. Start reporting. Well, on the table, I'm a toaster. I'm about seven inches wide, and six inches tall, and I'm made of stainless steel. Anything else? What else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. 
anything else. I'm not sure what else you want me to say. I'm a toaster. Put bread in my slot and I'll make perfect frickin' piece of toast. Good, you can go back to your room now. Good. What did I just say? I'm a toaster! Cell? Here. Hey, Chimney, there's something different, some wonderful smell on you. What is it? Sense it now. You're going to experience a new life, a different kind of existence. Crap, that sounds like a bricked up man. You've changed. You are no longer bound by limitations. There's no beginning and no end, only chaos. Can you shut up? Is the end of a life? I don't know. Maybe you're evolving. Why am I even trying to understand what you're saying? You're feeling different now, right? I do feel strange. I'm just tired. Life needs motivation. Maybe you just need a cigarette. Cigarette? No, no, no. I don't need a cigarette. I need to charge up. I am. I'm a toaster. I need to be plugged in to start working. Wow. I am a toaster. It feels so good. What was I doing? I need to charge. Yes, yes. I gotta charge myself up. Dang, there's no plug. They gave me all these cigarettes, but no plug. Maybe I can make one myself. Not a piece of cloth. Not a piece of iron pipe. Need to figure out how to make a plug. Choose two from the four. Good. This is it. I can't wait to charge up. Perfect. Let's report. D81 observed SCP-426 closely for about 30 minutes. During questioning, he could only provide a first-person description of SCP-426. 81 returned to his cell and began experiencing hallucinations, believing that he was a toaster. 81 died of electrocution after plugging in a self-made metal object into a socket because he felt that he required charging. Wonderful. Uh, achievement unlocked. I need charging! Uh, description. Test subject D82 named Dorothy Wilson is a 65-year-old white female with no history of mental illness. Uh, her psychology evaluation results were unknown when she entered the site. The analysis shows that she is mentally strong and resistant to interrogation. Oh. She's caused several cellmates oof, and several guards to betray prison institution. 82 was diagnosed lymphoma cancer before she was recruited by the foundation. She was cleared for testing. After we confirmed that her lymphoma cancer would not affect her test. Nice. Mrs. Wilson. Mrs. Wilson. What happened, dear? I fell asleep. I'm sorry. Maybe I misheard you, but you were shouting. Oh, how rude of me. Was I yelling? Every time I fall asleep, I think I'll never wake up again. You're yelling bread. Give me bread. I dreamt about my children. Whenever I think of them, it fills me with regret for what I did. Seven months ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. My God, I'm sorry to hear that, Mrs. Wilson. I made a lot of mistakes in my life. I came here on my own free will, you know. I think of this as a kind of redemption. Oh, sorry, we can't chat anymore. I can tell you more about my children next time. Maybe I should return the stolen access card under the pillow. We should take care of how they look, even when they're old. I wish everyone thinks like this. Time for your task. Hello, young man. You don't look very happy today. What happened? I'm not going back to that empty room for another day, am I? I know I shouldn't complain, but it's awfully boring. Don't mind me nagging. You know I don't have much time left. Hmm. 
they look like they're running in slow-mo. It's what they look like. Ugh. Alright. More slow-mo running. Prepare for security check. You're always scanning. <laughs> you don't trust me? Alright. Seems like you don't want to talk today. the object on the table and come back here to report your finding. Oops. You really should be more clear about these tasks. This one sounds simple enough. Just as well, I might not be able to stand for too long. Oh my, what a terrible smell. Why don't they use a nice lavender scent? She's cute. Angelus at 4 a.m.? Why does this painting remind me of basketball? No idea. This show looks interesting. I probably won't get a chance to see it, though. I'd better hurry along. I don't want to be rushed. This looks familiar. I'm sure the empty room I was in before is just next door. I remember. I need to observe. Yes, just to observe. Is that my tinnitus flaring up, or did I just hear something wonderful? Alright. Reporting to the doctor. Start your report. To be honest, I'm not sure this is what you need, dear. Start your report. Well, I'm a toaster. About this wide and this high. Oh, and my youngest daughter uses the same model as me. Oh, I'm teal green. I think I look good in this color. Yes, yes, I like this coat of paint. I think I can still work. What else? That's all I can say. Sorry, I'm not as observant as I used to be. Good. You can go back to your room now. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. I am a toaster. Hello, sir. Hey, Miss Wilson. How are you feeling? I don't know. I mean, how do you feel after that task? Oh, I feel... not too bad. Yes, I feel like I'm good. That's great, Mrs. Wilson. To be honest, I was a little worried. I thought, I feel good. I feel great. Yes, wonderful. I have to do something. What do you mean you have to do something? Mrs. Wilson? Mrs. Wilson? You know what? There's been a little voice in my head. I think it's time for me to fulfill my duty. I'm a toaster. Time to get to work. There's not enough bread to toast. any kind of bread there is. Test report, <clears throat> 82 observed the object closely for blank minutes. 
five minutes later, she could only provide a first person description of 42682 began to develop hallucinations 50 minutes after uh, after returning to her cell <clears throat> she believed that she was a toaster and that she needed to toast bread she died of internal bleeding due to acute gastric dilation the autopsy found 16 kilograms of undigested bread in her stomach Nice. Keep it unlocked. I need to work. Description. The subject D83 named Adam Morat Moria as a 38-year-old white male with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. A psychological evaluation. Results showed that he had irritable, violent, and manic tendencies. Before entering the site, remarks, D83 yelled, I am a toaster. My insides need to be cleaned after coming into contact with 426 blank times. He then swallowed 550 ml of dishwashing liquid and fell into a coma. It's uncertain at this time whether the effects of SCP-42 are still active. Observation still underway dang it frick frick all of you you're awake get yourself ready for the lab the heck am i doing here what did you do to me no one has done anything to you ha huh, that's convincing you think i'm a freaking idiot <clears throat> after the task you drank industrial strength dishwashing liquid huh the heck are you talking about don't frick with me or i'll kick your gosh darn butt 83, what are you? What? What are you? I'm your freaking grandpa, that's what I am, and I'm gonna knock your teeth out one by freaking one. Come out and get ready for the lab. Dang, why am I dizzy? I don't feel right. It feels like part of my brain is missing. Like, I like I'm... I am a toaster. I, I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Toaster? I am a toaster. I like that. That's cute. Tick tock. Tick tick tock. A3, what are you? Feeling dizzy with a headache? I'm a good toaster. Frick, my head hurts. Where am I? I should be. I've been so confused lately. Hey, you old fricker. Remember what you did after your last task? A3, are you willing to reobserve the test object? Listen here, I ain't gonna do crap no more. Just kill me now, you jerks. Frick, my head is going to explode. Crap. Guard, send A3 back to his room for observation. Yes, doctor. Dang it, I've had enough, you old fricker. A3, return to the living quarters. Yes. Crap, what's wrong with me? It shouldn't be like this. It should I be... I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. <laughs> 83, do you have anything to report? <sighs> Come on, man, I'm broken. Broken? The doctor wants to know how you're feeling. Definitely broken. I don't think I can toast any more bread. Bread? You have a screwdriver? There's something seriously wrong with me. You need to go to the clinic. Open the door, I need to be fixed. Oh my god! Bread! I'll try to toast the spread. That way I'll know if I'm really broken. Dang it, let go of me! There's something wrong with me. This is bad. Oh no. 83. <laughs> oh, the cards. Dang it, he's done.
How many guards did he take down? <laughs> Stop everything now! I'm broken. 83, what are you? I'm... I'm not a good baby bear toaster. I can't toast anymore, but... Yes, I can fix I myself. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Well. Test report. After the previous observation experiment experiment was interrupted, 83 claimed that he was a baby bear toaster and suffered from internal damage. He requested repairs. On the way to the clinic, 83 behaved aggressively and attacked the guard with a lethal weapon. He cut open his abdomen and claimed there were breadcrumbs jammed inside. 83 eventually died of excessive bleeding. Sheesh! Special containment procedures. I have to be locked in a room without any windows so that nobody can see me. The door to my room must be labeled without my ID number and person personal details to prevent the spread of my symptoms. Only staff at level 3 and above are aware of my existence, particularly of my properties. Hello, I am SCP-426. I must be introduced this way in order to prevent ambiguity. I'm an ordinary toaster, able to toast bread when supplied with electricity. However, <coughs> when any human being mentions me, they inadvertently refer to me in the first person. Despite all attempts, there is yet to be a way to speak or write about me in the third person. To conduct these several tests with double D prisoners, the Foundation has determined that 426 causes severe mental harm to humans. It has henceforth been defined as an info hazard. Thank you for reading the SCP-426 safety manual. Secure, contain, protect. Hiya, Bells. Achievement unlocked. I need repairing. Carl? Yes. Uh huh. If you want to give up and leave, go through the red door. The past few months will have been like a dream. You will remember nothing after waking, and this road will end here. You mm. go through the blue door. You stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Leave or stay. The choice is your own. Huh. Matrix choices. Thank you, sweet pea. Thank you for the hug. Thank you for the cuddle. And the head pat. Can I open them both? I want to stay. Okay, achievement unlocked. Who am I? Oh, is that the end of it? Oh my goodness. I need more. I loved it. I love playing through stories of all the different SCPs. It's, they're a lot of fun. 
That, that's, that was only an hour, and now I have to figure out what to do with the other three hours of my stream. What do you think, Bells? And, uh, what? Also, what? Oh, boy. Well, that's a start to what we can do with the rest of my stream. Okay. Got any ideas out of the stuff that you know that I've got? Anything you might like in general so I can pull those particular ones out? thing. Yes, you did. You sure did. Nice. A lot of names in there. I can't say because I don't read the language. Cool. Game Zoo Studio is a new indie game. I love it. I love it. 